Hi everybody, how's it going? My name's Lizzie. Welcome to Lounge with Lizzie. I am babysitting at my sister's right now, so we're in the playroom. By the way, <laughs> super cute little. <laughs> They're asleep. I can even talk to them on this thing. The babies are asleep. That's what you hear, by the way. I think that's the yeah, that's the lowest I can go. If I can put it further. Alright, this is going to be a love reading. Let's get into it. We'll start with some self advice for you. Too many. Build the strength. Working up the courage to come forward. Or maybe just getting that body ready for someone in general will build your confidence. I feel like a lot of us are trying to get fit and ready for summer. Aromatherapy. This is about de-stressing. Too stressed out, Spirit is saying. You're worried about things that don't really matter in the end. Yes. You, I think you want to find someone to have a family with. Or just focus on your family right now if you're single. Spend time with people you love. Clean your space. Do that spring cleaning. It'll help you feel centered, organized, and ready for summer. Ready for a new you. Cleaning out your energy in your literal space is very therapeutic. Hydrate with the weather changing. Everybody needs to make sure you're drinking enough. Connect with the earth. Get out in nature and enjoy it like I did today. Soak up the rays in the air when you can. My sister is back for a second. They're looking for something. A wallet, I think. I'll be back when they we found it. <laughs> it was a mad dash. You know how it is. You're trying to go out with your friend and you can't find your wallet with your ID. And it was like, <laughs> and they drove to the store. I thought they found it and left, but no, they drove back to the store to see if they left it there, but they found it. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> um, where to, let's see, let's see who we're talking about in this reading. I'm going to describe the Divine Feminine. This does not have to be a feminine energy. It does not have to be a masculine, I mean, uh, like a feminine female, a masculine male. This is energy, that's what I meant to say. I cooked my brains up, hiking around everywhere today. <laughs> It's the longest time I've been in the sun in a minute. And tomorrow, I'm going to do some more, some fun stuff. Like, it's my last day off before I go back to work. And it's like going to prison for the week. Like, I don't see the sun. Like, with my schedule, I'm going to bed when the sun is shining. Like, I could switch to day shift. I'm losing $200 a month if I do that, which I could pick up one extra shift a month and make up for that. So I might be switching to days, but I don't necessarily love having to be there at 6.30 in the morning and work until like 6 at night. It's still no life either. I just don't think I like... 10 or 12 hour shifts anymore. Finally got one. <laughs> it took forever. Minnie Mouse. So I feel like this uh, feminine is very shy. But we have tiny, childlike, or high-pitched voice. Sweet, innocent, Libra energy. Um, petite or tiny in frame. Like, like a literal... I'm getting like tiny dancer is playing in my head right now. Uh, smiley, happy-go-lucky, shy, reserved... Always in a good mood, making small moves, and very spiritual and religious. So this Divine Feminine has their shit together. Very cool, calm, and collected. Very uh, peaceful, sweet. Demi Lovato. Um, 
could be bad with commitment or just had a bad history, um, could have addiction in their past of some kind or dealing with addiction or childhood trauma of some kind, a wild child, free spirit, um, could be known for something since a child. And then Britney Spears, uh, mental breakdown, um, I feel like this, per this divine feminine is looked at as a bit crazy, but I feel like they're just speaking their truth and they're very blunt about it, and I can respect that. But I also feel like this divine feminine um, has been through some shit and is unapologetic about the things that they have to say about it, when I feel like whenever they were dealing with it, they were probably very quiet. And now they're like healing and growing and becoming their god or goddess self. And they're like, fuck this. This is how I feel. And some people might call them crazy. But, you know, people say the same about me at their collective. And you know what? You're just speaking some damn truth. And they just can't sit with it. And that's not your problem. Because <laughs> you're just here to be a truth teller. Alright, let's talk about the Divine Masculine. Pulling teeth today. Cal Weaver from Crazy Stupid Love. That's Steve Carell's character. So you could have been like blindsided by a love partner. You could have got cheated on. You could have like married a high school sweetheart and like the spark died or um, maybe you let the relationship die because of work. Getting those or whatever. I just feel like majority of you got cheated on blindsided because if you think about the long scope of that movie uh cal or steve Carell's character was blindsided his wife of how many years cheated on him he's like what just bigelow mouth gigolo could i be could be out here dating and, and you know not about emotional connections right now this masculine or could just think this is a sexual connection or just want sex from this divine feminine Amistad, um, they're stuck in something. I feel like um, they feel enslaved to maybe their job, their career, another partner. There's karmic energy here. And Chris Farley, um, they let, they hide behind humor. They're very loud and boyish and um, center of attention. But people really loved Chris Farley as well. So I feel like this person is a bit of a mess, but they're well loved. They're not like a jerk. I don't know why I keep touching my hair today. It's just super soft. This treatment is fantastic, but I can't talk about it yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I'm testing it a bit more. I'm trying to, um... Like, I don't know if I can trademark my own thing if I use a bunch of other products and, and mix it all together. Is that technically my invention? Probably not, right? Because I'm using, yeah. So, like, I don't know if I can bottle this and sell it, but oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm just a little worried. Like, my, I have darker hair, so I've been working on it. It's not as greasy looking as it was last week, but it's still a little, like, my hair is clean, but, like, because of the treatment, it has a shine, so I just have to tweak it a little bit more. It's almost, like, I'm a, I'm a Virgo. Like, this is cute. I want to keep the shine, but this is too much si shine. This makes like, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I sweated my ass off today too. I came from nature to babysit. Like I went home and ate dinner and sat down for 20 minutes and I got back up, you know, I put warmer clothes on. So I'm on the go, people. <laughs> can't wait to go home and take a bath. <laughs> at two something in the morning when they get home they're going out so they'll be here after hours <laughs> kids are asleep though at least it's easy i'm just literally sitting in here uh mary might wake up for a bottle in a couple hours but that's about it kai's out cold kind of glad because i didn't have time to get them a present and when i babysit i bring them presents and I, I was out filming when I, well, if you watch the video, you know when she called. <laughs> Didn't have much notice today. And it was so sad. I went home to go through all of my filming and I couldn't see 
and when I thought I was filming, I really wasn't. So all the shit that I thought I got for you, I didn't get. I only had a couple stupid shit in the beginning. So I might go back there and reshoot. But that one's a free one. So like as in after Memorial Day, I don't have to pay to use it. So I'm going to go more in depth, I feel, with that one once Memorial Day is passed. I'm going to try to get to like Chittango Falls or something tomorrow. Like, I want to do something cool. Maybe I will do Green Lakes, but I feel like it's Saturday. There's going to be a lot of people. I want to hit Green Lakes on a Thursday so I can film while kids are still in school. School's not out yet. And so, I want to... Where could I take you guys? <laughs> I'll think about it. It'll be some somewhere cool tomorrow. Side note. How are you guys as a couple? This is if you guys are um, together or what you will be like in the future. Or how people will see you. Let's go with how people will see you because it's subjective. I'll switch it. Like I'll do sides. So if you are together now, what is your relationship like? To help get a more in-depth reading. Bridget and Mr. Darcy. So, um, one of you could be, like, from money and the other one not, you know, just different worlds, different cultures. Monica and Chandler, you could have been friends for a long time or came from, like, are the couple in your friends group. John and Jane, Mr. Smith, I feel like you didn't really know each other when you guys, um, got together very well or you're, you're learning that maybe you guys painted a picture both of you I feel like it's not just one or both and it, it doesn't have to be something you did on purpose maybe you're just realizing you're very different people so let's go to the people that aren't together yet what how are people are going to describe you when you do come together George and Amal like George Clooney and them all. So power couple, somebody very smart, and somebody who's like an entertainer could be that as well. Um, Leanne Rhymes and Eddie. So this could be like a scandalous second marriage thing. One of them was married when they met the other one, or they both might have been married. I don't remember. Like, who the fuck cares? They're happy. Shout out to you two for fighting for your love. Good job. Good job. But... I'm just saying it could be a, tur a turbulent start. I feel like those two still get shit about their relationship. Like country music industry is like the most judgy AF fucking shit show. <laughs> Not that country music is shit, but I'm like, you guys are so unrealistic about like all these ex- like... Still to this day, I mean, country singers are dressing. I could all start with Shania Twain. Shout out to you, Shania, um, for bearing your midriff and starting it up for the country music. But, like, you know what I mean? They're still more classy than the other girl. That's, like, weird. I don't get it. Sarah and Derek from Save the Last Dance. So you might be people who, like, party together. Maybe you're really good dancers, have a good vibe. Chloe and Trish, Tristan, so they might say that, like, that these are gossipy motherfuckers. So, like, he's going to cheat, she's going to cheat, blah, 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 fuck them hoes. You know, we don't care about the peanut gallery in the long run, right? But we have Sean Mendes, Mendes and Camillo. Um, Camilla. Camillo. <laughs> Camilla. So, yeah, I definitely, they're like, they're going to break up. It's not going to last. They're going to have a lot of haters. Let's get some details about what's going on here. And then I'm going to bust out my brand new deck that I got today that I designed. Not like the art. I found all of this art on Pinterest and Google Images. So I don't own the art, but I designed the deck and the cards. Let's talk about the Divine Feminine. Placing bets. I feel bad about how things ended. You want to help them through their hardships. Q. 
keeping your morals. Face the music. Caution, pump the brakes. You need a study buddy and love is coming to knock on your heart. You're not going to expect it or see it coming, but as soon as your, our eyes meet, you will realize the rest of your destiny. So for some of you, you have not met this person and spirits like they're about to come in and you're going to know exactly, you're going to remember this reading. You're be like, oh shit, Lizzie was right. This is the fucking tea. This is the moment. Oh my God. <laughs> like, if, like a study buddy, you might meet them through work, through school. Um, they might be helping you with your job or helping you in a spiritual sense. Placing bets, I feel, is like you, um, you're hoping, either hoping on someone or something thing divine feminines or you are just out here dating like if i'm feeling your vibe uh, vibe i'm gonna invest a little if i'm not then kindly fuck off <laughs> you know what i mean but you feel bad about what happened or what went down between you and this masculine energy here it was cold now it's hot making sure it wasn't my sister even though she just left um Something is cautioning the Divine Feminines here from going towards, even though they feel bad about how things ended, there's something going on here um, that is keeping the Divine Feminine. So I'm going to keep a card or two from each side and then I'm going to ask with my new deck what's going on. So I'm going to hold on to pump the brakes and we're going to ask with the other deck when, it, when I bring it out why um, Divine Feminine is hesitant here. I want to help you through your hardships. So I feel like Divine Feminine is um, sensing a disturbance in the force with the Divine Masculine. It might be with their karmic. It just might be like life situations. They're feeling like they just want to come in and cuddle you and hold you through it. Face the music. Maybe because you're going through something hard. But I feel like face the music is I want to... Um, either this Divine Feminine wants to come clean or... Um, wants to tell you their feelings or wants the tea but this person I feel like the reason a lot of the reason why they're pumping the brakes has something to do with their morals maybe it's because you're married maybe because you're from different cultures I'm not really sure so let's get some details about the divine masculine let's see what's going on their side red hair so this divine masculine could have red hair or you divine feminine could have red hair green eyes are you watching over me so i feel like this divine masculine feels the divine feminine in a spiritual presence they feel like the divine feminine protects them they feel like they like when when they get out of stuff they shouldn't have, they immediately think of, like, one, their spirituality. I'm not saying they think you have superhuman powers, but I, I feel like they feel, like, in some way, Divine Feminine, it's because you prayed for them or you're, you sent their energy, protective energy over them. Walking tall, this person is trying to get in their emperor, empress mode. Should I stay or go? So they're facing some adversity. I feel like they're they're de in the process of deciding if they're going to stay with the karmic divine feminine or come towards you. I know you hate to hear that, but their relationship with the karmic and their life, something's going on that's on the rocks here. Um, speak your mind. I feel like they also are mirroring the divine feminine when they want to sit down and maybe they are going to spill the tea. Where you walk, I walk next to you. So yeah, the, they're like planning for your life like you're already there, Divine Feminine. Um, I'm going to keep, um, should I stay or go on the rocks for Divine Masculine? We're going to ask about those. I miss you. Even if you've never been together, they just miss your energy. I feel like they recognize it from a past life. But let's get into my new deck. It's called the Artistic Divine Feminine Oracle Deck. This is the front of my card. I love it. 
All right, so let's talk about the Divine Feminine here. I want to know why, Spirit, they are cautioning and pumping the brakes, and maybe they're blocking you, giving you the cold shoulder, not really showing how they feel. Maybe they're hard to read for you, Divine Masculines. Why is this happening, Spirit? Moon energy, moon-based moon cycles. We just had a full moon. Um, we have telepathy going on. We have long-distance illusion. I feel like this person feels like it's all in their head. Beautiful card. I love it. They dream about you at night. Um, I feel like they got a lot of past lives about you. This person is moon-based if they're gifted. Pluto energy, to me, they feel like you left them out in the cold and that this is an illusion, one-sided. That's why they're pumping the brakes. I feel like they feel a bit stupid or a bit naive. Um, or maybe they're like fan, like romanticizing it too much. Too many. Anything else is why they're pumping the brakes here and not coming forward. Excitement, hopeful, a new relationship, new job or promotion, physically active, going green, new fresh ideas, feeling alive and vibrant. I feel like they're doing their own thing. I feel like they're doing something with their career. I'm feeling entrepreneurship here, but they want a new relationship. They want somebody who doesn't have to get out of something. They want somebody who's ready now, ready for commitment. Look at this person is a free spirit. They're going towards life. They either just want to be this free spirit and continue on their own journey, or they want somebody to match that who's free and vibrant and ready and not held down. I feel like a lot of why this Divine Feminine is staying away from you is because you are not available, you are not free, You or they just feel like you haven't moved on from the past emotionally. Why is keep your morals here for the Divine Feminine? Clearing and cleansing, transmuting, organization, and firm boundaries. They put firm boundaries. They, they don't want to deal with someone who's married. They don't want to deal with someone who's in a relationship. They do not want to be a third party at all. This is somebody who is high vibrational, who knows their worth. It's me or nothing. I feel like they gave you this ultimatum, and this is why um, the splitsy has happened here. It's not going to be true for everyone, but this is a collective read. Take it if if it fits. Leave it if it doesn't. Not all parts of the reading are for you as well. You might get something more in the future. Any more details that we can go into about the Divine Feminine? Long-term stability. Yeah, they want to grow old with someone. They want to know that they can count on someone, that someone isn't going to invest their emotions and then pull back or invest their emotions and cheat. You know what I mean? They want somebody who has the same plan, who isn't going to get in something and keep looking for um, thrills and excitement, who isn't going to get bored. This is like, I, I want my husband and wife. So I feel like they're comfortable like being off in this free, vibrant spirit until they feel like um, somebody matches their vibrations and can give them what they want. And they're going to put everybody on the back burner. This is for everyone, not just you, Divine Masculine. So yeah, they're keeping their morals by understanding and knowing their worth. And I want somebody who, who wants to grow old with me. And I, if you ain't willing to give that to me, then I'm not even willing to go there. We can be friends. I feel like that's their vibe. All right, let's get into the Divine Masculine over here. Why uh, do we have On the Rocks? Oh my God, same thing dreaming about each other you guys heavily affected by the moon phases here you also feel like it's illusion in your head you also feel um a tell a t like like you guys talk to each other in your mind but you guys are very far very far away from each other you got long distance on both sides so you're from different cultures different countries um one of you could be in commitments both of you could be in commitments Death, ending, unforeseen trouble, truth bombs, under the weather. I feel like this Divine Masculine 
um, was in something that they thought was stable and this person we have winter in the background could be referenced here I feel like they either got cheated on or lied to or used or very very hurt here I don't know if it's this divine feminine who hurt you or somebody in the past but something shocking happened maybe it's the realization that um, maybe they sh they gave up um, on you and got into something that wasn't um, worth it, Divine Feminines. Okay, we have January, not ready yet under the weather. They're just not ready um, for this commitment at this time. They're healing. Like, inside they're on the rocks, but I feel like relationships are on the rocks as well. Femininity, nurturing, earth energy, and earth magic. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay with you, Divine Feminine? Somebody who I feel is nurturing and all this stuff is growing. It's like that all seems to stem from this Divine Feminine. A pillar of the community. Somebody who you can grow and cross, cross, or <laughs> prosper with. Should I go towards this Divine Feminine? Or should I stay in where I'm at, what I'm already in? Why? Tell me more about this. Should I stay or should I go for the Divine Masculine? Leo energy could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, Sun-based. So you have moon-based and sun-based. Recognizing they have two very opposite people to choose from. But I have twin flames. Sparks are flying. Great idea fire gift based like um, this person moon and fire they could um, do fire magic a sexual connection so I feel like this divine masculine wonders if it's just you know something they can have an affair if divine feminine is willing to just have an affair I know I hate to hear it I know I hate to hear it in readings you hate to hear it but it's like they want their cake and ice cream too damage control but they are cleaning up their mess i think they are getting out of karmic situations they might be for some of you are getting out of a, a fire sign connection uh specifically leo and and for some of you they're cleaning themselves up and their life to get ready for you because they know that you are their twin flame and if they're not with someone that should i stay or should i go is am i worthy enough or am i not worthy enough for this divine feminine all right, let me get a little bit more details here about the Divine Masculine. Warrior, power move, strength, very gifted, and hero. This person is trying to save themselves, but I feel like they want to come in and impress this Divine Feminine. I just... I saw one flip. Oh, there it was. Cancer energy, stuck in thoughts, thinking of someone, distance, miscommunication. So again, referencing, this person is missing you, thinking about you. There is distance referenced here. You guys are from very different, distant shores. Water sign, cancer specific. Um, but there's some kind of miscommunication that they definitely want to clear up. Talking in the 5D, spiritual sex. So you could be having 5D sex, but yeah, that's that. Um, also with the light bulb here, getting to know your guides, meeting helpful people, cosmic connection. You guys are communicating in the 5D for sure. You're very far apart. I think that's the only way for you guys to have com contact. Seeking truth, reevaluate assessment. Is this healthy? Is this real? You don't know how this person feels about you or how to get this thing going. Bridging a gap, magical connections, life purpose, answering the call, unexplained connection. Can't figure out why you feel this way, but you want it. And you're just like digging into like, what is this? How do I make this work? You want to know everything about this divine feminine. Self-mastery, empress energy, hanging out, vibe. You, this is how you see the Divine Feminine just like chilling, smoking a blunt, zen as fuck, living their life. 
I can't. You are so impressed with this Divine Feminine. You, you want to impress them so bad. Or maybe win their favor back for some of you if there's beef. So staying on this deck for just a bit more. We're going to be using this a lot. I don't want to wear it out too much, but I was excited. What do I need to know about your connection right now, Spirit? Their connection. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I don't never know what to say in these things sometimes. Divine Masculine Burning Bowl Ritual Status Elevation Boss Energy Promote Boss Energy. I'm sorry. Promotion Creator Genius Dark Arts Alchemy. So the Divine Masculine could be doing some magic here, or a Masculine Energy could be um, using some sex magic to try to woo back this Divine Feminine or have them fall in love with them. If you're into that, it's collective. I toss it out. But for most of you, this is Divine Masculine, like getting rid of karmic energy, standing up in their, up in their power. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'll say it like that. They're becoming the phoenix. They're burning down what no longer exists. Oh my God, look at this. Fire energy. Burning and rebuilding. Beautiful. Harnessing their power. Harvesting resources. Building confidence. Gaining courage. Taking it head on. Facing shadow side. A light worker and doing your thing. I also feel like career. They're on fire in their career space right now. For the Divine Masculine. But I, for both of you. I feel like you're just in a very creative zone. You're getting a lot of good ideas. Troubles ending. Apology. Avoiding drama and conflict and personal space. You're not mad at each other, but you're both in your corners, letting things simmer in your life in general and between you two. Um, but an apology is coming and the ending of your personal troubles are going to end so that you two can come in and make peace here. Inspiration, muse, ideas, good news, planting new seeds, hoping for communication. Yeah, you're both longing for each other. You're hoping the other one reaches out. Eventually, one of you will. Um, but you're each other's muse, especially for work projects. Shock, trauma, anxiety, fear monster, lack-like mentality. Um, but both of you aren't willing to face it. You're just not ready. You're too scared. You're scared of rejection. You're, you don't know what to say. Um, you're not feeling like you're body ready for some of you. Doing the unimaginable trailblazer. Leader for the future. Teacher. Hierophant energy. That's also Taurus energy. And we have Mars energy. Look at this person. They're levitating. It's a very spiritual, gifted, highly spiritual connection. You're both elevating spiritually at this time. Beautiful. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Uh, sibling relationship, partner in crime. This is clearly not a sibling relationship because this is a love reading, but I feel like twins here. But this is what is true for you. Partner in co crime, ride or die. Like You guys will take a bullet for each other. You're going to help each other do whatever needs to be done. So, super cute deck. I can't wait to use that more often. Alright, let's see how you two um, see each other. Oh, hiccups. Here we go. Each other. That one hurt. Love popped right out. <laughs> well, let's go to the Divine Feminine. How do they see the Divine Masculine? Leto, instinct, somebody who follows their gut. You're ruled by your instincts. You don't need fact. You don't need a hundred opinions. You just need to check your gut for a minute. You're very skilled at what you do. You're, you're a money maker. You're a hustler. You're a hustler, baby. <laughs> That's what I just heard. I don't know. Relevant for someone. Um, your passion you're a passion project kind of person. Like, you have to be passionate about it. But your passion is rules your life above all else. Work. You're a workaholic. I don't feel like it's a bad thing to them, though. Anything else? Versatility. You bend and flow with the times. You can get through anything. You're a warrior. You're fierce. You're feisty. You're fresh. <laughs> All right, let's see how the Divine Masculine sees the Divine Feminine. A 
emotions. You're ruled by your emotions. You have to have a cause, Divine Feminine. If you feel passionate about it in your emotional space, like Divine Masculine, what's their gut instinct rule? Divine Feminine likes to rule by her heart or his heart. You have pride. You don't let nobody tread on you, Divine Feminine. This isn't like ego, devilicious, bootylicious attitude, whatever that means. This is like, you better come correct or you're going to learn to take today you're gonna speak with me to today junior <laughs> i don't know why i just heard that and i almost said it but it's like maybe you're very pushy like you want stuff done now just like a mile a minute that new york vibe i feel for you for sure but it's like nobody treads on me you will put respect on my goddamn name okay i ain't hating on that <laughs> i don't know why i just felt those vibes that's somebody's vibes out there like okay <laughs> I ain't hating. I ain't hating. All right. How does the divine masculine see the divine feminine? Self-esteem. Someone who believes and loves themselves. You might have, like, nobody's perfect. You have quirks and things that you wish you could change. But I feel like you're open and honest. You own your shit, basically. It's my infam. You are a boss to this person. You are crushing it. <laughs> Fluidity. You also seem to just like glide above your adversity, your challenges, like walking on water. They're like you just get through shit. Like I don't know how you do it, but you do it. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit more. How is Give me some details about this divine uh, feminine so they can help claim this reading for themselves. The lovers looking for your twin, ruled by your heart. You could literally have a twin sip, sip. Why can't I speak? Does somebody have a stutter? I don't know, but I feel like I'm feeling a stutter vibe or you're just choked up. Um... Out here trying to find you love you're ruled by love love is important to you wanderlust yeah you're a venture you're looking for love you're out here looking for love divine feminines and looking for adventure getting out in nature um, trying to make that money um, leveling up spiritually maybe you're learning a lot about your job the hustler baby both of you are hustlers yeah always trying to make that money though Good for you. All right, Divine Masculine, what's your truth so you can claim this reading as yours? What's Divine Masculine's truth, Spirit? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Trust Fund, building that financial security for the future. The programmer, you're very good with computers, you're very good with business, very analytical. You're definitely like accountant, business brain, entrepreneur. Uh, mogul type of shit <laughs> uh, the star so you could be a celebrity you could have it a, a star quality or a talent of some kind the high priestess your party animal your spiritual you are a free spirit and you are also out here traveling and seeing the world also trying to make that green lots of similarities here I like it let's see what you're dreaming about divine feminines and you lay down your head at night and think about the situation. What dreams come to your mind? Because dreams tell me a lot about your truth. Your higher self truth. Journey about moving towards this divine masculine. I feel like you feel you have to move to a different country or a different place. Or it's just going to be a very big change. I, th I see you willing. I see you looking at it with excitement. But there are some nights where you have a little bit of nightmares about it. Where you get there and then you get rejected and you changed your whole life and then you have to move back. There's some fear of that going on here. I feel like that roots back to your uh, childhood fear of rejection. That's something you need to work on here, Divine Feminine. Um, people not being true. Maybe you feel like this person is just telling you what you want to hear, leading you on. 
um, lying to you in some way, holding back their truth. Um, like there's that energy of they say they want it now, but we get it and then this person's going to get bored and find someone else. Like you have a constant fear of being replaced, rejected, abandoned, or not being able to satisfy someone. So let's talk about the Divine Masculine. What are you dreaming about when you think about this connection? <sighs> Same thing. Are they being true? Are they lying to me? But you feel like this person is very healing. Especially, I feel like this, in some way, you feel like this person's going to heal your mind, body, soul by loving you, by sexual connection, by friendship. By being in their life, you're you're howling at them. You either feel like they're chasing you. You feel hunted, um, f feeling like spirits like making you go towards us, or you feel like you want them to back up a little bit. Um, in this dream, I feel like you feel divine feminine is going to be clingy because um, you're a very free spirit you don't want you want somebody who's independent and you have to remind yourself how independent this divine feminine is this isn't someone you're gonna have to entertain all the time i feel like they're a straight shooter i feel like this is all for you stems from karmic relationships from the past courage and boldness you're dreaming about having the courage to come forward um, you are dreaming and seeing yourself healed of all the stuff that you have to go through um, to get to this divine feminine I just see you in your dreams pouring your heart out because I feel like either you know you're gonna have to also take a journey and maybe you can't afford to do that or you're just not um, you don't have the courage to say it or you're just so full of fear for rejection that you just can't literally even try it. You would rather just daydream it to death than have to hear them reject you. That's rough. Let's get some astrology. For Divine Feminines over here, let's get some astrology for them. And then we're going to dig in and see what we need to know about this to close it out. Moon in Scorpio going through a transformation or could be a literal Scorpio here. A change in your emotional life. They're trying to stabilize and balance and protect their emotional energy. Could be dealing with an empath here. Eclipse in Capricorn going in a new direction, especially with career. Um, I feel like they're working on their body. Sun in Aquarius, number 11. They're getting a lot of opportunities or they're trying to, to create room in their life for opportunities like networking. Um, sun in Virgo and Moon in Virgo, they both pop. So a lot of Earth energy with this Capricorn as well. We have contentment. I feel like this person is okay by themselves. They're loving themselves in this moment. Um, and they're working on their creative endeavors. They're very focused on self and career at this time. Let's talk about the Divine Masculine with some astrology and see what's going on. Oh my God. <laughs> Slid right across. We have Moon and Cancer. Um, they might belong to someone else in a other relationship, but I think they want commitment. They want this Divine Feminine to know that they love them and that um, it's like they want to heal the sense of rejection or like it's like they want to say to Divine Feminine, like, I'm never going to reject you, I'm never going to leave you. Moon and Libra, they're so in love with this Divine Feminine. Like, true divine love here. Moon and Sagittarius, they're discovering all about this love. And they might be digging into Twin Flames. But I think a lot of them are freeing themselves from karmic shit at this time. And discovering ways to do that. Sun and Aries, yeah, they want new beginnings here as well. They're clearing the path in their life slowly but surely to make their way towards you, Divine Feminines. Let's get some details about your... You know what? Let's get a song. Forgot to get a song in the beginning. I'll get a song for the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. You should listen to the whole song, but I will read what is on these cards. This is... Uh, a deck I bought from a fellow tarot reader and New Yorker. Shout out to Julissa's Messages. Um, do I have 
have the box closed? Yes, I do. J U L I S S A S Julissa's Messages. That's her channel. Um, but her deck is called the Playlist Oracle Julissa's Messages. Not sure if she has any left. She only makes exclusive decks and and once they're gone, they're gone. So she might have some. <laughs> Tyrese, how are you going to act like that? This is for the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. We would sit and talk for hours about anything. Baby, you hang up. No, you hang up. On three, hang up. I bought your whip. I paid your rent. I gave you everything. Said you'd always be my baby. Then you bounced. How are you going to? How are you going to up and leave me now? How are you going to act like that? How are you going to change it up? We just finished making up. How are you going to act like that? So either this person feels like you're playing emotional games, physical games, or it's um, they feel like they helped you in something and you just took that help, didn't say sorry, and said fuck off. For some of you, it's like literal physical and financial help, but I feel like most of you, this is I put spiritual energy in and you shit on me for it. You're a little butthurt. Oh. This one fell. Aaliyah, at your best. Mm, she died on my birthday. I say this every time. When you feel what you feel, oh, har, har, la, la, la. Again with this fucking impediment shit. Speech impediment, I'm feeling. When you feel what you feel, oh, how hard for me to understand. So many things have taken place before this love affair began. But if you feel, oh, like I feel, confusion can give way to doubt. For there are times when I fall short of what I say, what I say I'm all about. They they feel like they won't be enough for you. Um, I feel like they only tell you the half of it. Like I don't feel like they tell you their, their fears of, look, if I fall in love with you and I make you important and you leave me, I will be fucking like literally destroyed. Like I have gotten up all, from a lot in my life, but I won't get up from this. Are like literally too afraid to say that divine masculine all right let's see where the divine masculine is at with a song for their divine feminine i'll take it bruno mars when i was your man my pride my ego my needs and my selfish ways ways <laughs> caused a strong somebody's got a speech impediment or you're just so choked up or it is retrograde. It's fucking with me. I can't speak. <laughs> my pride, my ego, my needs, and my selfish ways caused a good, strong woman like you to walk out my life. Now I never, never get to clean up the mess I made. <laughs> oh, that haunts me every time I close my eyes. I don't know why. I feel like this part is like I'm hearing it so loud in my head. Never get to clean up the mess I made. Brr. Never get to clean up the mess I made. Brr. Never get to clean up the mess. I... Why am I hearing this? Do you just keep thinking about this divine mask on how you fucked up and wish you could go back? Get off that hamster wheel. It acts as a roadblock. J-Lo waiting for tonight. Like a movie scene <laughs> in the sweetest dream. I've pictured us together. Now to feel your lips on my fingertips. I have to say it's even better than I ever thought it could possibly be. It's perfect. It's passion. It's setting me free from all my sadness, the tears that I've cried. I have spent all of my life. <laughs> Not a singer. Yeah, where have you been all my life? Energy so in love. So you're clearly both in two very different positions here. So let me see what the heck here is the deal. I mean, what am I even saying? What's the deal here? Dyslexic, tired, sun brains. Let's see. How does the Divine Feminine feel about this connection at this time with my romance oracles? Ooh, there's some spiritual beliefs here keeping them sitting in their corner. Either you're married or you're with someone. They just ain't about it. Maybe they feel like 
you're just not meeting them vibrationally. But they are attracted to you, though. Oh, they are attracted, Divine Masculine. They do want you to make the effort. They want you to show it. I feel like they're sitting here quiet. I feel like I've put the work in. I ain't doing shit until my energy is matched. But they want you to show up and match it. They're hoping that you do. Cute, but sad. Pay attention to red flags. They're watching you closely. They're watching to see if you're high vibes, low vibes, if you're happy with your person, if you're trying to send them mixed messages, all that shizzle, my nizzle. So let's see what the Divine Masculine is feeling about this connection. They're trying to manifest you back, call you back. They're trying to get your attention. They're trying to be uh, attractive and, and sexy to you. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to make money and work on their career or they're just throwing themselves. Either they want to make money to be able to give you a better life or... Just checking on the babies. It got super quiet. Um... Or, like, they're working on their finances and career to, like, have a, a good life for you. Or they're just throwing themselves into work because they don't know what else to do. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to tell you the truth. They want to understand where you're at. I'm seeing release your ex. They know that's what you want. I'm not sure if they're doing that, but they're at least aware of that. They're letting go of control issues as in, like, they know they can't force you to wait. They, they can't rush in. Yeah, they know that you're the one, but they know they're not ready to give you what you deserve. And for a long time, I think they're like, I just need to rush in and, and get them, and I'll worry about the rest later. But I think they realize that's what they did with their last person, if that makes sense. They rushed into something. So they want to, like, really be healed and come correct. So they're not, this person is not going to come until they are correct, which is what you want. Even though it's annoying to have to wait. I get it. All right, let's talk about this connection. What do I need to know about this connection? What are we counseling here? Stabbed in the back. Sunglasses. Your divine feminine is hurt and hiding it. Feeling neglected, feeling betrayed. Or this is somebody uh, feeling um, this way about a feminine karmic. Yeah, divine feminine is not dealing with this. There's some kind of betrayal. I'm going to mask my feelings and I'm going to ignore you, divine masculine. Sword and the rose. But... The Divine Masculine understands that the Feminine is acting this way because they don't have all the information. This is them wanting to come in and give that information and say, I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to prove it to you. Camera. I feel like there's a lot of sexual um, touching of each other <laughs> for both of you. Wedding rings is popping. I think you both see each other as your person, but this could definitely be referencing someone's already married here the dragonfly you're both working on your own changes and i think it's with both of you having the other person in mind as who you're changing for who you're preparing for heart with the key or continuing to develop with well welcoming love meeting the one yeah you there's a lot of distance here, so I don't know if it's emotional distance, like you just haven't talked in a while, or saw each other in a while, or this is like physical distance, but um, this distance has got a break for one, for anything to get going, that's something that's very irrelevant at this point, because you're both even deciding if you want to go towards it, it's like you're but you can't let go of each other at the same time, it's like you're keeping a candle, you're hoping for it, but nobody's putting the energy in. The butterfly, that's going to change, though. The dragonfly and the butterfly. That's just both of you transforming so that that momentum happens. Both of you are just indulging in yourself so that you heal. Like, self-care. Um, 
maybe you're going on trips and just enjoying the single life for some of you or both of you um taking a minute to just just to be free mirror you are mirroring each other you're, you're both longing longing for each other you're both wondering if this is on your head really really blocked throat chakras like massively blocked Yep, you're both hiding feelings. That's can't come on a few times. You're both heartbroken without each other. You're both heartbroken about whatever happened here. It's not sitting right because you both feel that you are meant to be. This is your twin flame. No matter what happens, you both know that you're going to come back together. Whether you're ready to come back together now, that's up to you. But yeah transformation needs to happen movement needs to happen but i think one or both of you right now are running away from this to do your own healing um be, or are running and choosing a karmic relationship or this is what caused it um why divine feminine got mad um could have been you picked a karmic over them or you guys are running back to your karmics because this is too much um, but we have seduction here. I do feel like the Divine Masculine could be running away from their karmic relationship to come and seduce and win back the Divine Feminine. Yeah, because they're in love. Unconditional love. So for some of you, they're energetically choosing you but not putting action behind it just yet, but will be. It's like they're gaining courage. And some of you are literally um, sitting in your thoughts wondering if you should leave the karmic or you know stay it really depends on the on where you're at and your connection it will resonate to you um let's see if i can get a little bit clearer of a message for you divine feminine what do you need to know about this connection right now life purpose so you are going to work with this person as well all of this is part of your life purpose. All this, this rejection is God's protection. Um, they're not ready for you. They're only going to hurt you. You want them to come correct. The distorted masculine. They're not ready for you. You focus on your life purpose and your work. And when that divine masculine is ready, they'll come towards you. Or the when the right person is ready, they'll come towards you. Um, spirit will will drop a divine masculine if they don't do the work so it's up to them and but trust me when i tell you when they drop one when you're supposed to be with someone but they just aren't doing the work back you're going to get something better than you even imagined yeah the silver waterfall you're manifesting for your career you have all this creative stuff going on focus on that kind of let this simmer for a minute the rainbow reviver yeah Raise your vibrations. Focus on yourself. This is how you call in the Divine Masculine. Give them the room to choose you. Give them the room to let go of their karmic shit. And give yourself room to heal from your own karmic shit. And get away from that. And just do you and focus on your career. Because I feel like you're going to have a big ass boost in your career space very soon. So let's talk about Divine Masculine. What do you need to know right now? You need to put energy towards this connection. I think you're being called in this time for movement, either to get out of a connection, maybe um, to give out musical messages, but it's like put the love in. Um, spiritual maturity, you're climbing that mountain, you're learning what you need to know to make that decision, whether you're staying with your karmic or um, going towards this divine feminine. Um, everything's happening in divine timing masculine you're going to make that decision when you're meant to when once you get to the top of the mountain the decision will be clear don't push it um, you are also calling in a lot of abundance um, in the career space make sure you're listening to yourself but go towards what you think is going to be the most abundant in the heart space what can you plant a seed in that's going to grow the best what soil is the most enriched that's the decision you should choose Overall, for your relationship and this connection and this time and your cycle now, what should you both be doing? 
to bring this connection back together. The Divine Masculine. You have to come home to yourself, Divine Masculine. You gotta, you gotta do the healing work. You were the distorted masculine. You can't have your cake and ice cream too, my friend, even though they are a delicious blend together. For diets, that's a no-no. Pick one, which is pick this Divine Feminine or pick this Karmic because the half in, half out keeps you in that distorted, low vibrational vibes. But this is also you believing that you are worthy of this Divine Feminine, that they are not better than you, that you are deserving of this, even if you have to hurt someone else to get it. Like that pain is a part of their lesson. Just be as gracious and as kind as you can with your Karmic. Yeah. Who do you want the commitment with? You're in a commitment. But you can't be in a commitment and be in a, another commitment with someone spiritually longing for them. So as long as you are dancing between the two, your energy is half in and half out. So picking one, pick which connection is your connection and not going back. Like once you make that choice between the karmic or your divine feminine, you can't keep teeter-tottering. Which commitment do you want to live with for the rest of your life? This is what makes you a clear and strong, knowing what I want, emperor. And sexual freedom. Um, like think about it. If you meet someone in your relationship... You can't have sex with them because you're in a relationship, or you shouldn't. There, there's moral rules. So until you are freely able to give yourself to them sexually, you shouldn't be able to give to yourself, give yourself emotionally. I feel like this is spirit, like, you set that boundary and do the work. Free yourself. Um... I feel like there's a lot of sexual addictions here with this Divine Feminine. I think you got to let that walk for a while as much as you love your Divine Feminine and you're sexually attracted to them. Um, it clouds your judgment. Fall in love with your Divine Feminine's mind. Fall in love with their voice. Don't look at their pictures. Like Step away from the sexual aspect and make sure you're concentrating on the 360 view of the relationship and not just like boobies and butts and swang a lang a dang dongs <laughs> whatever that is but yes there, there's a lot of sexual energy between the two of you um and this is going to continue to grow and sizzle and it's healthy but don't let it become a unhealthy version you are soulmates you're going to find your way back to each other but it's going to take healing and getting out of other stuff and they're starting to repeat themselves. So overall, their message is get out of your karmic situations. If that's a decision you make, take that time to heal and process what you needed to learn. And, you know, so you're not carrying anything into your next relationship. And speak your truth to each other. If you can't speak your truth to each other, you're not ready for a relationship. And that's okay. Everything happens in divine timing. Just take a deep breath and do your thing. Both of you are nailing it in the career space. I would focus on that and see where that goes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I'm babysitting. <laughs> would be super boring since the kids are asleep. Um, I might do another reading. But yeah, see you again soon. Love and light. Toodaloo, boo-boos.